morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog i'm so excited to catch up with y'all i'm doing a postpartum body update today i'm also working with factor once again so thank you to factor for sponsoring today's video everyone say hello to penny say happy new year penny anyway um but before that i wanted to show y'all the house update just because this is the time to do it so let's go okay so of course the outside is still like a very very hot mess because we're still working on it but the two trees that i showed y'all in the last vlog are almost gone um they also had the front two and these two in the back and it took about two days and then the garage floor oh god needed to be leveled so he is doing that right now but it's basically like almost done compared to last time he added the lights I think he just needs to do the switch and obviously the door okay now this is like the worst angle but i wanted to do a little because yeah you know what's crazy that now bolt feels so light because olivia is getting so heavy but when i pick him up it's like like nothing i want to say hi i get on these like long <laughs> tangents and then my vlogs are like 30 minutes long anyway i got some dhk dupes from dhk that i wanted to share i got this sweatshirt it comes in different colors i got this really pretty burgundy this is the all yours crew sand wash sweatshirt and i got a size 10 which i believe it's a large i got my husband these joggers um they're called the seawall track pants and i really like getting these dupes because they're literally like a quarter of the price of lulu but the exact same fit and exact same um, fabrics and everything it's, they're amazing i got a sports bra i need to hurry up my camera's about to die this has been on my safe for later for so long this is the invigorate bra can y'all see that no um i like how it has this like mesh panel right here and i think i got this in a size 8 just for a tighter fit got a hoodie so i've been getting some requests to try some dhk hoodies but this looks very very large um this is the all yours hoodie fleece and i think that's a size 10 as well yes and i got this one in a navy and lastly just like a regular workout top very oversized though just to throw on this is the love crew fade and that's everything i got so i don't think i'm gonna do like a dhk video on that so i'll go ahead and link that down below if, in case y'all want to shop that but yeah i'm gonna go charge my camera now <laughs> so it is much later olivia got some new bows from amazon and they are way too big in my opinion <laughs> also this is how my day is going put on a brand new shirt Bit up all over it it's from h and i'll link it but it is lunch time and i am so thankful today's video is sponsored by factor because i am truly starving but i am in that mood where number one i don't want to clean the kitchen so i don't want to dirty up plates and number two i just want something good that is still healthy because new year's goals baby so i'm gonna show you which meals i got for the week we do the six meal plan and their smoothies which are incredible and delicious and factor is a meal delivery service and they focus on real ingredients no added sugars everything is so tasty like my number one thing with like dieting or eating clean is that i still want to eat stuff that tastes good and their meals are so flavorful and delicious while still being very very good for like any sort of weight loss or fitness goal where are you going anyway let me show you the meals that i got from factor and their meals are literally perfect for people on the go my husband literally took one to work this morning but also for people that are busy working from home like me who still want to eat clean and like i said they're freaking delicious so these are the meals that we got this week grilled chicken parmesan sage chicken and butternut squash macaroni <laughs> I ate that today. Um, smoky maple barbecue ground beef, green chili turkey enchilada bowl. No, I'm definitely eating this one today. And chimichurri pork tenderloin. They all sound incredible. I think the one my husband got is a shrimp and grits, which I tried last time and it was so good. So I highly recommend checking out Factor, especially if you have a New Year's goal or resolution of eating cleaner, being healthier, working on your weight loss or your fitness. I cannot recommend factor enough the 
it's the next day i wanted to interrupt myself because i went on the longest conversation with y'all yesterday while i was eating my factor meal so i wanted to show y'all what we're eating today this is a chimichurri pork tenderloin i put it here because i thought i wasn't hungry enough but now i'm starving dante is actually here and he's eating the maple barbecue ground beef which looks so good as well so factor is actually having an amazing deal for the new year 120 dollars for your first five weeks so you can use my code right here or the link down below to get that offer and i highly highly recommend you'll check them out i'm literally starving i'm eating something super delicious that was ready in three minutes thank you once again to factor for working with me and sponsoring today's video okay it's been a few weeks since i started this vlog and i wanted to jump on here because the rest of the vlog i'm trying to find good lighting and i can't the rest of the vlog kind of like takes a turn into this vent session podcast where i just discuss my weight loss and my current weight and my struggle with weight and body image issues and just a lot so i want to leave it towards the end of the video just in case any of you want to listen to that it's very personal and i've been debating for the past weeks to even like share it so i've been thinking about like deleting it and just not posting but one of my goals for this year is to stop doing that and stop overthinking my content especially when it comes to being like open and vulnerable with you guys so i'm not gonna do that i am gonna post it but if you don't like weight loss talk or talking about like weight numbers or postpartum weight loss and i would skip it but i do want to show you a few more things before i talk for 20 minutes so let me do that now so this is what i wanted to show y'all the garage update he is literally almost done the reason why it's been taking so long it's because he had to like i show you all at the start of the vlog he had to level it with cement so that took a little bit to dry but the flooring is in he's almost done with that then he's going to add the trim or yeah the molding right um this is the floor we use which is the same one in my closet if y'all remember it's from home depot and this is the color right here i really like it it's so easy to clean and we added some led recess lighting from amazon i also got a dimmer just to make things easier because i have quite the update for y'all <laughs> anyway so that should be done by monday um tomorrow actually and i love it y'all so the update that i have is that the garage ended up being 480 square feet and that was pretty big and it just looked like amazing right so our plan if you watch my last vlog was to turn this into a playroom slash gym but here's the thing okay so what we actually decided to with the garage is to turn it into our master bedroom and hear me out you might think it's very outrageous but it makes a lot of sense for our initial plans and for what we want to do moving forward so basically we always wanted to move our master bedroom downstairs and we always wanted a bigger one our master bedroom right now is not even a master bedroom it's just a regular bedroom we are moving our furniture down once he's done we are taking olivia's crib down with us um we haven't really and i will talk about that in a different video but we haven't really come up with a plan on when she's sleeping on her own and right now it just makes more sense to keep her with us so we will we're like putting up like a reading nook and a bench and it's just going to look so nice i'm so excited then what we're doing next is basically adding to that so we're adding our master bathroom and our master closet we're just going to have to add the bathroom and closet which will be way more cost effective because the garage is already built you know what i mean so that's what we're doing but we are not jumping into the bathroom or the closet yet we want to do like more planning and a little bit more saving up so what we're doing next is expanding our laundry room into a little mutt room and then closing the back entrance and turning it into kind of like the mud room laundry room situation so i'm gonna clean the laundry room and show you all that probably in my next vlog they're starting on that tomorrow so i'm very excited to show you all kind of the final result as you all know if you watch me at all this is something i've been wanting for quite a while and like i said it just made way more sense to use the garage for that than to waste all that space and i'm just excited 
to not have to go upstairs <laughs> once everything's finished everything will make so much more sense but since everything is such a hot mess right now it probably seems kind of stupid to do so but i promise y'all i have a plan i'm sticking with it so i think that's everything that i wanted to chat with y'all about i'm having a chaotic month and i really cannot take any criticism about what i'm about to share because i feel like i'm gonna get upset so if i don't reply to your comment and it's nice it's not that i don't want to reply it's probably i've been avoiding the comments in today's vlog so i'll try my best not to i need to grow some thicker skin is what i need to do but um let's let's get into that and that's gonna be the end of the vlog so just listen to me talk about too many things for 26 minutes okay she was fighting that nap so hard i had to reheat up my food twice but if you hear some music it's the monitor and here's my food i cannot wait to eat i would have cried anyway i thought i would do a little mukbang chat let me know how you feel about these because i kind of like them and kind of get personal with you all about my postpartum postpartum journey when it comes to my weight loss and my body and all that so when i first actually let's try this because i'm starving mm. oh my god it's like so much better on chipotle i'm not just saying that Anyway, actually, you know what? For the first time ever, I'm going to tell you all my weight. When I first started my weight loss journey, way before I was pregnant, this was like summer 2020. I gained a ton of weight during quarantine. If you want to see more, just watch this video. I was about 155 pounds, which might not seem like a lot to some people, but I am 4'11". I'm super short. So it was really rough for me to see that on the scale back then. I wanted to make a change. By the end of 2020, I was... 123 pounds then i found out i was pregnant at the end of 2020 in december and i think i started 2021 with what was my first weight on my first doctor's appointment probably like 123 and i felt really slim for the most part but i always reference back to this clip on a vlog that i did um saying that i look I think bloated is the word that i use and of course i was pregnant but y'all there's nothing bloated about how i look so bloated and like i cannot believe i'm even filming this because i just don't feel good and i weighed myself this morning i still weight the exact same haven't gained any weight and haven't worked out i just don't feel great so today i'm changing a lot i'm going back to spin which is really crazy and it says a lot about how i see myself and my body image issues but when i got pregnant i was like let's say 124 just like for averaging purposes you know at first it was fine i wasn't gaining a ton of weight or anything i completely stopped working out i was too pregnant and too tired and honestly i could have done better my entire pregnancy but too late now i gained 45 pounds during my pregnancy so i waited at my last appointment which was 38 weeks and some days let's see 169 pounds but i had to constantly kind of like pull back and say i am literally growing a human being like i cannot have this mindset right now like i'm pregnant when i'm not pregnant i can worry about it that's exactly what i did as soon as i gave birth let's just Fill it all, shall we? Two days after Olivia was born, I weighed 152.2 pounds. I was really shocked at that number because I still looked so swollen, puffy, and I just couldn't believe I dropped all that weight when I didn't look like I dropped all that weight. And I'll go ahead and put a picture here of us leaving the hospital. Every single nurse that would come into my room would say, oh my goodness, you are so swollen. And I was kind of scared. I was like, what is going on? Why? And I guess it was just something to do with like how hard I was pushing, but that really concerned me. And looking back at that video, it's just insane. I tried on those pants the other day. They don't even fit me anymore. So anyway, 152, which was great. I was like, wow, I'm so glad. And I'm saying this, this is just my own personal journey this is not to brag or to feel like all moms should bounce back and lose all this weight no no, no. i'm just talking personally a week after she was born i was at 146.8 mind you i wasn't working out i wasn't doing anything but breastfeeding and running around the house like doing things because i had all this newfound energy that i didn't have when i was pregnant okay so a month postpartum i was 136.8 so i had lost about 32 pounds and then two months postpartum when i actually started to go back to spin and working out 
I was at 131.6. So I felt like I was plateauing. I felt like I wasn't noticing any difference in my body. I still felt that I looked like extremely swollen and just different, even though my weight wasn't that high anymore. So I was really struggling with the way I was looking at myself in the mirror and the way clothes were fitting and the way I was looking at myself in pictures because I felt a certain way about how I look but then I would see myself in pictures and I felt that, that I looked so much bigger and I just didn't love the way I was looking went back to spinning and this is an adjustment that I had to do just like mentally because my idea was I'm not gonna be pregnant anymore I'm gonna work out all the time and with a baby that is just not possible it's just simply not possible like my time is not my own especially when you know i don't really have a nanny my mom helps me out as much as she can and um because my mom doesn't work so and she lives so close but i'm not going to like call my mom all the time so i can go to spin like four times a week and 20 minutes away it's not possible to be honest for me to be at spin like that takes me max like two hours like to drive there to drive back to take the class all that um just to be away from home four times a week so that was disappointing but that was just a reality that i had to face and you know it's okay i couldn't work out as much as i wanted to and when i was working out i felt like crap like i was like wow i used to sit front row i used to come to spin and like rank at the top of the class because they give you stats and now i can barely keep up like two song songs in which you know just goes to show that i should have definitely like stayed active during my pregnancy which is something that i'm definitely going to do for the next one in the future but anyway i digress two months postpartum i start working out at least once a week at ride or like at a spin studio three months postpartum i was at 127 pounds 0.4. This is when I physically started noticing differences. Like I definitely felt like my clothes were fitting better. I was fitting into smaller sizes. I got some Abercrombie jeans. I had to get like I had to return and exchange them for a smaller size. So I definitely felt way better about my body i was doing way better in spinning i took a class a few weeks ago i was like front row in a way i felt like i got my fitness level back even though i haven't been able to do it as consistently as possible that being said could i be doing an at-home workout right now sure could i you know go on runs outside when my husband's home sure i simply didn't have that motivation and that um drive to push myself in 2021 per to be perfectly honest and i'm really shocked that i was able to lose that much weight just by you know eating a balanced diet because max i was working out two times a week plus on our walks like maybe like a 30 minute walk every day so that really shocked me but here's the thing the last one i have is from december 12th so i should have probably weighed myself today but let's say 123 because on december 12th it was 124.8 and i do remember that number going down recently so so the point is while i feel like i am back at my like before baby weight which is great don't get me wrong i think that it's really cool that i was able to accomplish that you know less than five months in and all this stuff like i should be really proud of myself right wrong i feel like i look terrible and i shouldn't feel that way i know i shouldn't feel that way but i just really need to work on loving myself no matter what the scale says and it's one of my main goals for this year yes i have goals of you know working out more and being more consistent and all this stuff but one of my main goals as a mom and as a girl mom like i have a daughter oh my god oh my god i cry <laughs> i have a daughter that i want to raise to like love herself no matter what she looks like this is not the way i saw this video going because i feel like all my life i struggle with my weight and the way i look at myself because of my weight um because of what so many of my family members said and put into my mind when i was so young like oh you can't eat that you're gonna get chubby or like look at you a size up you know like so many things like i remember one time and i don't hold it against her like seeing my aunt after a year and a half and the first thing she said to me as she walked in the door was like wow you're really really chubby and i was just like 
I literally went to my room and cried. Like so many things that like family members, friends, like I remember one time I was with like a group of friends on a girl's trip and I was like hanging out with someone that had, hadn't known me for a long time and I was showing her an Instagram picture and she said, wow, you used to be so skinny. And at that time I felt so good about myself and the way I looked. And then since that moment, I was like, oh my God, I'm fat now. Like, how did I let myself go this much? And like, such a small comment from someone that like, is also a woman affected me so much at that time. Like, I remember like, not wanting to take pictures in my bikini anymore and putting a cover up on like immediately. And it's just like, so many little things led me to where I am today. I don't want my daughter to ever feel that way about herself. No matter her size, no matter what she looks like, nothing. So now that we went on to that great tangent that I almost cried, <laughs> I just want to learn how to love myself without what the scale says. And yes, you might say, Fila, well, throw away the scale. Don't use it. Sure. First of all, I can't do that. I'm a control freak. And second of all, it's not going to help because I'm always going to be thinking about like, oh my God, what is my weight right now? I'm trying, first of all, to be completely comfortable showing myself like on Instagram and in my videos. I used to take pictures all the time for Instagram. I used to be like a full on vlogger. I would go to murals and take pictures in front of them and come up with all these really cute outfits. I would take like a hundred million pictures, like something insane. And I would literally not post a single one. We would do all that work and I would feel like my face looked fat, cheek looked a little off or I had a double chin or like, and I sometimes I would edit them to the point where it would look completely insane. My brother and I have a running joke on like, does this look edited when pictures look insanely edited? It was just like this misconception that I had that I had to look like super skinny in order for me to like be proud of what I look like and to post on Instagram. One of my new year's resolutions last year was to post on Instagram more. And I realized that the reason why I wasn't posting Instagram on Instagram is because I was insecure. That was it. Like I was too insecure to take a picture of myself and think it was good enough for Instagram. Which like, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? It's something I really struggle with probably since, I don't know, since five years ago. And I really struggle with it the entire time. Sorry y'all, I had something in my teeth. This is a hot mess. I feel like I'm getting real personal. Anyway, the bottom line, I feel like I'm rambling, but at this point, this is like a heart to heart. <laughs> Basically what I wanna say is, I want to learn how to love myself without like feeling like I need to change myself without like adding insane filters and feeling the need to like not pose because I don't look like a size zero and I've never been a size zero. So what I'm trying to say is, and I was talking to a friend about this yesterday, I'm always looking for the next thing. I'll be happy once I'm 120 pounds. I'll be happy once I'm back at my lowest weight when I was in high school, which would be impossible. I'm a freaking mom and I'm 26 years old. That would never happen. I'll be happy once I'm no longer pregnant because I can finally start working out. I'll be happy once I go to spin more than once a week. You know, like it's always like the next thing and the next thing. I'll be happy when I can fit into a size four. I found a journal the other day with a weight loss goals for the year. And one of them was like, wait, 110 pounds. Why? You know, like, why am I so obsessed with numbers and sizes and like looking perfect online when I don't care? You know what I mean? I don't care what like Fulanita de Dal thinks about what I look like. You know what I mean? And the people that like support me and love me like y'all aren't gonna care if I look like a little chubbier, if I have like a little mom pouch or whatever the heck. So that is one of my goals for this year. That was a 20 minute long ramble, just to say that. And I feel like the way that I plan to accomplish it, because I always tell this to my husband, you can have a million goals, but if you don't have a plan, you have nothing. I didn't magically lose all this weight postpartum. I mean, I gave birth, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Basically, I stayed really active and I did not let myself, you know, chill in bed and eat chips at any point after I gave birth. Like I did take naps and I did chill out with Olivia and all that, but I was never like snacking in bed or, you know, buying a ton of candy, which I did do recently, but it's fine. So someone asked me this on Instagram the other day and this is what I do and this is like my diet. I don't want to call it a diet because it's not. If I want to go out tomorrow and eat a cheeseburger and fries, I will. You know what I mean? So I eat a super light breakfast. I'm talking like a piece of toast, 
or a smoothie from Factor, or I don't even know what else, bagel bites. I had two bagel bites yesterday for breakfast or something with like smoked salmon. It doesn't really matter. I just mean like small or light in the sense of it's not like a meal, like I'm not eating eggs and bacon. Nothing wrong with that. It's just personally something that doesn't work for me. It's my mom here. Anyway. I do that and then I eat a big lunch. I'm not talking portion size, I'm talking filling. So I had pasta yesterday. Today I'm having a bowl that's like about 500 calories. So it has rice, like something that has a balance of protein, carbs, fat. So it keeps me satisfied until dinner. And for dinner, I eat something light once again. So it's usually more of like a snack so sometimes i do like a little cheese plate with like some crackers cheese and salami something like that will still satisfy me and make me feel full without making me feel like i'm too full to go to bed you know what i mean um like my dad has been buying sushi poke bowls things like that um that like are still light ish but like i said they will keep me satisfied until the next day and i will say i'm having like pretty late lunches like not really my fault um mostly because of work and olivia today is a different story because it's one o'clock but usually at this time i'm working i haven't been working this week because of the house renovations but the point is following that diet and still treating myself which is something that is incredibly important to me like if i want or if i'm craving chocolate or if i want ice cream or a brownie or fries the other day i was hungover as i had mcdonald's like you know i don't want to restrict myself i want to have a healthy relationship with food and i think that is one of the main ways i want olivia to just live her life like i never want her to think of a food as bad or to restrict herself in any way like i used to do so i need to do some research about this um especially like in the future when she starts like eating solids and going to school and you know all that which will be a story for another time but that is one of my main goals as a mom and as a mom of a woman of a girl you know she's a baby now but eventually she will be a 26 year old so knock on wood too um just for her to love herself no matter what and to be confident in who she is no matter her size no matter her weight no matter her anything her height her what her face looks like you know because there's so many people that think being a certain size being a certain weight will make you happy and i've learned now that i've fluctuated for all these years at so many different weights that my happiness doesn't correlate with how much i weigh or how good a skirt fits or like how many boys are into me because i'm skinny you know what i mean obviously in the past but um so i just want her to be fulfilled in other ways and in other aspects and to be confident enough in herself to love herself no matter what other people think no matter what how her jeans fit and that is not to say like i want her to live an unhealthy lifestyle i just want her to have a healthy relationship with food and a healthy relationship with herself and her weight and what she looks like so that is my little long rant of the day that i did not expect to go on so this video is taking a different direction um also let me know how you feel about mukbangs because i hate hearing myself chew so i always end up editing out the parts of me eating but I love watching other people's mukbangs. Like Kathleen Lights does these with like gossip and they're so fun to watch. And I always like make something or like cook while she's doing it and it's amazing. Anyway, I guess that's another one of my resolutions to be more open and honest on social media. And not in the cringy way. I know you know what I'm talking about. There's some people on Instagram especially that want to be too real, too raw. I saw a picture the other day. And there's nothing wrong with this. I'm just saying it's really not my cup of tea. Of a mom, she was pregnant and she was taking a shower and her husband was shaving her vagina. And that was a picture. She was like full on in the shower, like holding her boobs like this. I, I will give you, I'm not gonna post a screenshot because that is not okay. But like, I will give you a rundown. So she was like this, right? Like, I'm not even kidding, like this. And her husband is like bent down shaving her 
I was just like, you know what? Some things just should stay on social media. Like, you could pay me. A brand, a racer brand could say, I will give you however much money you want to post this with your husband. I'd be like, no. Ew. Why would people do that, you know? Anyway, I digress. Like I said, not judging. I'm just saying I would not do that. Or like, that's just like a little too real and raw for me. I don't know. Let me know if you would do that. But the point is, I want to be more real, more myself. Not that I feel like I'm not. I just feel like sometimes I do edit quite a bit out just because I feel like, oh, maybe this was too much. Maybe I'm a little like too crazy in this video. <laughs> Um, or stuff like that like sometimes I like film vlogs and I just don't post them because my house doesn't look great or I guess I look gross um, That's another thing. I want to talk about myself in a better light because kids are very receptive to the way like their parents talk So if I say oh my god, I look disgusting today I don't want her to think that's ever okay to say to herself or like to say to other people So I need to work on that. I need to work on a lot of things Clearly. We'll see. But let me know what you think and if you'll like it. I do need to go because I am quite concerned about where my dog is at the moment. Because my mom took him to the vet. She's still not back. And you know who lives at my mom's house? The cat that took Bolt's eye. Oh, my mom is and none other than Walmart with my dog. I swear to God, y'all. I swear to God, anyway. I'll talk to y'all in a bit.